you may have the gift of evangelism. And if you have the gift of evangelism, what I'm saying at this point doesn't apply as much to you because if you have the gift of evangelism, you probably have an ability that you're very natural into entering into spiritual conversations with non-believers in a way that's very winsome and they're drawn to you and you may be used to share Christ in very quick terms and people come to Christ, right? Um, you say, well, how do I know if I have that gift? Well, number one, you have a tremendous passion for people coming to Christ, more than the average Christ follower. You think about it all the time. Uh, number two, it is very natural for you to have spiritual conversations. It's not awkward, it's very natural. Uh, number three is you come across really well. People respond really well. And, and number four, you definitely see them move up the scale as a result of those conversations. Now, if you think you have the gift of evangelism, and you just alienate whoever you talk to, <laughs> chances are you don't have that gift, right? <laughs> and so the goal is not to get the message out there and to have people go backwards down the scale and for you to walk away and say, yes, I told them. At least they know they're going to hell. <laughs> and uh, it's like, no, no, no. We, We'll talk later. Gentleness, respect, right? Well, our memory verse this week. So, uh, so anyway, but if you have that gift, what I want to say is, man, we need you using that gift. Because you're a, a gift to the body of Christ. You're like our Navy SEALs on the front lines out there and just sharing Christ and creating an atmosphere where people can come and see and, and just creating a, a, a pathway for people to come to Christ. So that's awesome. But for most of us, uh, that's not how most of us are going to operate. It's not how most people are going to call it. Most people are going to come through relationship.